Hey Dan. It is November the 4th. Uh, and I am making um, a video to really talk about the final, um, I guess the conclusion of the 2018 cross country season for the kids. better. Um, so the section meet was actually a few weeks ago. It should take a while to make this video, so hopefully you don't know the outcome. But um, the first race was the girls' race, and this was at Oatana, which is where I shot a lot of video. Uh, three of the last four races for um, the high school team are at Oatana. So it's a course they know well. Um, so uh, obviously it's 5K. So the girls went first, and uh, Colleen had a really good race. She ended up she ended up running in 21:20, which is almost her PR. I think she missed her PR by like a second or two. But anyway, she nine second. Oh, 21:11 was her PR. So she missed it by nine seconds. But still, the the thing about running, of course, any course, is that every course is different. And even the same course is going to be slightly different, even physically, from week to week. Because you simply run different distances every time you run it, right? Um, and it might only be different in terms of 25 yards. But still, that's already what, five seconds, three seconds, whatever it takes you to run 25 yards. Um, so, uh, it's also the weather conditions make a big difference and also just the racing conditions. Um, none of these are just, none of these are runs, they're all races and every race is different depending on who's, uh, who's racing it and how people go out. So anyway, it was a good race. Um, the, um, Colleen did, Colleen did really well and one of her teammates, Ani, who works at Mugby, um, qualified for state, so she was going to the state race. So the next race, uh, of course, is the uh, was the boys race, and um, the Winona boys team has been doing really well. They've been taking second to Red Wing, um, which is uh, a bit of a running powerhouse this year and, and last year in their section. So in their section, the top two teams go to state. You know, I think I talked about this a little bit last year. And um, um, uh, and then the top eight runners, not including those from teams that are qualified to state, also go to state. So anyway, um, the the top four runners for Winona did you know came in about where they thought they would. Carter came in second overall. He did really well, and I think Colton came in fourth overall. Um, unfortunately, um, you can probably see in this video when Preston comes around that one mile mark, uh, he was really struggling, uh, really red in the face, could barely get a breath, um, and ended up having um, probably what was one of his poorest races of the season, uh, not his slowest time, but he, um, he would have needed to run about 35 seconds faster, right about his PR, in order for the team to have qualified for state. So, unfortunately, on the senior high, missed state qualification by one place. Um, and, uh, you know, it was really disappointing. Preston was really disappointed in that. Um, and, you know, I, um, you know, when I would talk with him, um, and, you know, just had to... Um, you know, he understood that he had to now stand up and go cheer on the people who were still racing, congratulate the people who did well, and help control the people who didn't. So anyway, it was a, um, uh, it was a really, it was a really tough race for him. He was really disappointed, in, you know, in addition to the fact that it was his final race of the season. Uh, so, um, anyway, as you can see, there's a lot of video here, I've got a couple more minutes, so, um, of the boys, of the boys race running, and, and this long last part of the video is just of that final group of boys coming in, 
um, and finishing. So um, while we are watching that, I can talk a little bit about state. So the state meet was yesterday. Um, and that was at St. Olaf, which is a college up in Northfield. And uh, um, so Carter and Colton both qualified for state. And in the boys' race, um, the section boys' race, when Preston didn't do well then, um, Carter took second behind this kid from uh, Red Wing High School. Uh, Red Wing ended up, did end up taking first in Farmington and ended up taking second place. Um, anyway, um, Carter was with this kid from Red Wing for a long time. And you, I think in the video you can see how they finished. So Carter was about 15 seconds, 10, 15 seconds behind him. Um, his name is Weston Wyatt. Uh, and then Colton finished, I think, fourth overall. So Colton and Carter both made state. And then Cody, who is one of his third place finishers, just barely missed it. Um, Anyway, so at the state race, um, Ani qualified. She did well. She came in, I don't know what place she came in, but she, she, did, she did pretty well. Not quite a PR for her. Um, Carter had a really good race at state, and he um, took 13th overall uh, and, and ended up beating Weston Wyatt from Red Wing and ended up beating all the Red Wing boys, which was really awesome because that's the first time this season he had done that. So he was, he was super stoked, and it was a PR for him by a pick a second. But again, PRs are somewhat irrelevant when you're in a race because in a race all you want to do is finish just in front of the second place guy. It doesn't matter what the time is. Um, but it was, um, I think Carter's time was 6 to 15.53. And I think the winner came in at like 15.30. Um, so, anyway, it was, um, it was a good race. Um, and then, um, in the girl side, like I said, Adi finished really well. And one of the, the top girls came in at 17.02, I think. Um, super fast, super, super fast for a high school girls runner. Um, anyway, it was really fun to be up there to watch the race. Um, and, uh, you know, Colleen and I went up, and Preston and Mitchell went up separately, um, and it was, it was nice to see a lot of the high school boys up there cheering on Carter and Colton, and a lot of the high school girls, well, I mean, they were all cheering on everybody, but there was a good, uh, a good amount of support up there for those runners. So, it's, um, overall, it was a, you know, it was a good season. Um, they do have one final race coming up called Nike Cross Regional, and they are, um, the one on the senior high boys got invited because of how well they've been doing. Um, and they got, um, and it's the Nike Cross Regional, like Midwest, or, Heartland. what's it called? Heartland. Heartland? Nike Cross Regional Heartland. And so if you look that up online, you'll see what this race is. It's actually in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and it's um, next Sunday. So um, we're going to go over to that and watch the all the high school boys run. Um, and I think Ani's running in it as well. Colleen actually had an opportunity to sign up as an individual, but she did not. Um, so... That really will be the final race um, of Preston's career. Colleen has two more years, of course. Um, but one thing I also wanted to touch on was, um, and I haven't talked about this yet, I don't know why, but Preston has been talking for the last couple of months and is pretty determined to hike the Appalachian Trail this summer. So as soon as he's done with school, like that first week of May, he is going to take off for Georgia and start the Appalachian Trail. And I knew you'd be interested in that. And, you know, I don't know if it's possible if you or you and I or I or all of us or, you know, could hike part of that with him. Uh, I think that would be kind of cool if we could go down there in the summer and do a little bit of that. Uh, anyway, um, he thinks it's gonna take him probably beyond the first of the semester for fall semester at Winona State. So he'll end up having to defer a semester. 
Um, <coughs> but anyway, he's excited. I got him a book on through hiking on the Appalachian Trail. Um, and he's starting to put that, put together his equipment for it. Uh, he already has his hammock. Um, so anyway, um, he's, he's pretty stoked about it. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you updated on the plans for that. And we can talk more about that uh, as summer gets closer. And like I said, maybe there's a chance that we could meet him somewhere on the trail and hike, you know, three or four days with him. So um, that's, that's what I've got. Uh, I hope you are well. Um, I sent you a text a couple days ago, but I have not heard anything from you. I don't know if you are like on a trip, uh, or stuck under a piece of heavy furniture or what. Anyway, um, I hope you are well regardless of whether it's the furniture or the trip or just you're just at home busy or what it is. Um, please give your neighbor and uh, city council person, uh, Scott Fairley, my regards. Um, of course, please say hello to uh, Sarah and Taryn. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.